just before dawn on the 15th of September 1916, tanks went into battle for the very first time. The Germans were not the only ones in for a surprise. That morning, Cameron Highlander Robert Burns was in the British front-line trench. We heard this purr, 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 you might say. And it kept on going, purr, purr, purr. So I got up on the fire step and looked out. It was extraordinary. It looked at a steam road roller. Well, what was funny was to see those men crouched behind them with their bayonets fixed, running after the tank. Our heads were above the parapet and the German didn't shoot at us because the Germans themselves, they had their heads above the parapet and they were looking at the tanks as well. So ever, both sides were very curious to see what it was. In no man's land when early morn at six in the shade From out the British lines there came the famous tank brigade The hands began to drop them, could it make it out at all Especially when the tanks began the cat for Platoon sergeant on the side of the road just that side of the village of Flair when this extraordinary looking machine passed by and ground its way on up the road. I believe that was the machine that was referred to in the daily press as being uh, going up the main road followed by the British Army cheering. Um, that is the first time I ever saw a tank, and that was enough for me. I said, that's my job in future. Three months later, Mark Dillon volunteered to join the tanks. And the tanks went on and they strolled along with an independent air. And their guns began to blare, and the Huns began to swear. Two more tanks continued on to the second village of Gurdukur, where one was knocked out and one got stuck. Many of the tanks that first day suffered a similar fate. Some went into a crater and fell on its side. They weren't much use, were they? If they'd come straight on right through the German trenches, they might have been very, very successful. But they were in muddy trenches, and the first time they were used, you see, we had a lot to learn. The day after the battle, a disappointed Churchill wrote, My poor land battleships have been let off prematurely and on a petty scale. In that idea resided one real victory. Some tanks advanced further than any infantry, but of the 32 tanks which saw action, only 18 played a real part in the fighting and 10 were knocked out. 14 others broke down or got stuck, leaving the infantry exposed. 